the Ministry of Public Health, Amofa, has announced a set of updates to its COVID-19 and travel and return policy starting 16th of March, 7 p.m. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. It will be the only way that you'll be updated when we upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. For the new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Are you planning to travel back to Qatar? Are you a resident? Are you from the GCC? or you are from the European Union. Qatar announces updates to COVID-19 travel and the return policy as of 16 March 7 p.m. Remember, the Ministry of Public Health, that is the MOFA, announced a set of updates to the COVID-19 travel and the return policy that will come into effect on 16th March. In this video, we are going to look at what are the new policies, what are the new return policies for both the residents, the EU, EU, uh, EU travelers, and also the can, those coming from what you call the GCC. Remember, as per the ministry, this is aimed at combating the, uh, the deadly epidemic of the COVID-19. However, in this video, let us try to look at what are the new sets, what are the new requirements. If you are planning to come back to Qatar and you are a resident that might have gone for vacation or you might have gone for anything, uh, and if you are coming for what you call the UEU and if you are GCC, what are your requirements? What are you supposed to know? You, because you remember, at this time, before you get to plan your travel, you know, you should also know the return and the requirements by that country of destination or by that country of departure, which is quite very important at this time. So for the residents that are coming back to Qatar, remember, even they are looking at the FIFA World Cup and there are so much questions about a set of or rules or a set of procedures that anyone coming into the country should follow to avoid a set of any case of the COVID-19. In one, one of the requirements if you are coming back to Qatar is if you are coming from the GCC and the EU, that is the European Union nationals and residents who meet the immunity requirements can use the authorized health information, information app to of COVID-19 from their country and not need to complete the ATRAS website pre-registration travel registration. Remember, for those nationals and people who are not residents here before traveling, they needed to fill what we call a pre-travel registration form and that would be submitted online before coming back to the country or coming travel to this country. But remember, for right now, if you are coming from that country that meets the requirements as by the Qatar, the Ministry of Public Health in Qatar, uh, which will look at the health, uh, the health standards, then you do not need to fill in the pre-registration form uh, on the etras.com uh, to come into the country. What are those people we are talking about? We are talking about the people who are fully vaccinated and they have gained or they've got all the three vaccines and approved vaccines as per the Ministry of Public Health in Qatar. Number two, all GCC and EU nationals and residents coming and returning to Qatar. If in your country of departure, the, pre, the PCR test is optional, then that means when you reach Qatar or when you reach at Hamad Airport, you'll take what you call an antigen test in within the 24 hours of arrival. What does it mean? Let's say, for example, you are coming from Kenya. 
if you are coming from Kenya to Qatar and in Kenya they do not require you to take a PCR test before you depart from Kenya. That means when you come to Qatar on arrival you will have to take one, what we call an antigen test within the 24 hours and that antigen test should be taken uh, f should be taken from the approved centers by the Ministry of Public Health. Number three, travelers who perform what we call a PCR test from their country of departure on, or, on arrival in Qatar, you do not need to take what you call an antigen test. Remember? If in your country of departure, let's say for example you are coming from Uganda or you are coming from Nepal, you are coming from Bangladesh, you are coming from India and one of the requirements before you leave Nepal, India, Bangladesh, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, you need to take a PCR test. What does it mean for you as a traveler? When you return to Qatar, you do, when you come to Qatar, you do not need to take an anti test because remember the PCR test requirement should be taken within the last 48 hours and should be negative that means for you as you arrive you have a go-ahead signal to go but however the condition should be that when you are coming you should be coming from that country that has what you call a health the required healthy standard by the Ministry of Public Health. What are we talking about? You must be coming from that country which is not either listed in what we call the exception or the red list countries. That's when you will be given go ahead to move and go. Remember, travelers with a travel, uh, with a travel, with a pre-travel PCR test are exempted from a rapid agent test after arrival. Remember, something still the Ministry announced and said that whoever took a booster dose of the COVID-19 if you've been if you've taken all the three vaccines of the COVID-19 or you might have been affected by the COVID-19 and you recovered in one way or the other the booster dose the booster dose that you took a validity of its humanity is now extended to 12 months as per the Ministry of the Public Health. So this is very good news for whoever took the booster dose uh, that the validity of the humanity of that booster dose that you took uh, with the um, it should be the valid uh, the humanity is extended to 12 months which is very good news for all travelers. So no need to worry you can travel at any time but however it says you should follow the protocol procedures of that country you are traveling to at that same time. Still, the government or the Ministry of Public Health also announced that whoever, whoever lives in Qatar and lives in Qatar will have to download or download the Ethras app on his mobile because it is one, it will be one of the requirements for you to go in any of the public places so you need to download the atlas app and you need to show it to anywhere you have to go to the public places thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for tuning into this channel this makes from the next question see you again in the next video